time for your daily crypto update with Framework Fortune. Now let me know what you thought about the new intro for the channel, too short, too long, or maybe it wasn't graphically pleasing to your eyes, or maybe you absolutely liked it. But let me know down in the comments so I can continue to make the channel better for the community. Now on to Dogecoin, the big dog that's been running that everybody thought was going to go crazy last night after Elon was on SNL. As I said on my update yesterday, I would be weary. It was in a bullish movement, but any time that everybody on social media is calling for something to happen, usually it's already happened and it's too late. So if you lost on Dogecoin or maybe you're still bag holding right now, if you're new to any type of investment markets, this is a great mini lesson to learn. Hopefully you didn't have to learn it too painfully. But we see it in the stock market all the time. Some stock getting pumped by Reddit or Facebook groups or wherever on social media and it's already usually too late. It's kind of like the saying that Ricky Bobby said on Talladega Nights, if you're not first, you're last. You don't want to be at the end of a run like this. If you're not in down here under a penny or you're not in here in this flag where it hit about 10 to 15 cents, or you're not here after the pop of this big triangle here. If you're getting in way up here on Dogecoin in the 60, 70 cent area, you're buying at the very top. And if you had no idea what you were buying, what Dogecoin was, or why you were buying it, and you were just buying up here thinking that because everybody says it's gonna go up, that it's gonna go up, well, then you learn the lesson the hard way. But don't be discouraged, learn the lesson now, and continue to practice and get better and better. And I'm gonna give you this metaphor to try to remember when thinking about these types of plays. The internet, social media is like walking into a mall full of different stores, companies, blockchain technologies, the newest glasses, all of that. If you're walking in there to purchase something specifically, you know exactly what you want. You're gonna go right to the store, you're gonna get it and you're gonna get out. Same thing with stocks, cryptos, or any other investment. You want to know exactly where you're going when you go into this giant mall of trading and investing and get what you want to get and get out before it gets rough. I had friends calling me yesterday asking me if they should buy Dogecoin. Some of them didn't even know what Dogecoin was and I'm not knocking them. All I'm saying is if you have to call somebody to ask whether or not you should buy something, it's probably not a good idea. Back to the mall metaphor. That's like walking into the mall and a bunch of salesmen from the kiosk start running up to you trying to get you to buy this stuff. Hey, this is the new cream that's going to make your face not have wrinkles. Or hey, this is the new CBD product that can get rid of your anxiety. So you're getting rushed in to buying something that you have no idea what you're buying. And you're going to realize it when you get home and pull a big mouth Billy Bass out of your shopping bag. You bought something that you really didn't want, so you wasted some money. That is the same takeaway here. You bought something that you didn't know what you were buying, and you lost some money. But no worries, the crypto markets are not going anywhere, so there are always going to be more opportunities to be the person getting in here or back here somewhere early instead of way up here and be able to make some money. But let's take a look at the Dogecoin chart. You can see where it did have that pretty massive sell-off in a pretty quick span. And it did kind of bounce right above the trend line, didn't quite get down to it. But it's currently back up to the 60 cent area, which was trying to hold us some support, but that is cracked. So now this is resistance until it breaks. I'm going to go ahead and remove these trend lines because we don't need those there. And this does look like a pivot point, so we can start a downtrend on Dogecoin. So at the moment, running into a ton of resistance and the downtrend. I'm thinking we'll probably see Dogecoin back down to this 40 cent area for a test of this uptrend unless something dramatic happens and we get a U-shape back up to that 60 cents and break that area. But until we're back above 60 cents, I'm going to be pretty bearish on Dogecoin at the moment. Bitcoin, who's just been getting overshadowed by all the altcoins like Shiba INU that just explode for no reason, Maybe there was a reason. If you know why Shiba went so crazy, let me know down in the comments. But Bitcoin has still been slowly making its way through resistance lines and trying to build new support areas. It's currently trying to build new support right here in this 56.8 area. So we'll turn that line green. And it's trying to break over the 58.50 area. So if it can break over this, then we can see it test that 60,000 again like it was doing yesterday and a little bit this morning. 
more than likely Bitcoin is probably going to try to push for a new high in the next couple of weeks. Now, if it doesn't keep making these new support levels and breaking the old resistance levels, then we could see it back down to the trend. But right now, still pretty bullish on Bitcoin. I still think we may see 75K here soon. Matic finally got done consolidating, breaking over that downtrend and all the way up to a dollar. We talked about it last week. I said that if it broke this, it would probably reach a dollar, and it did, and has broken over, and currently looks like it's consolidating for maybe a possible another break, trying to hold support at this dollar area. Now, because Maddox has never been over a dollar, it is a possibility that it could hold a dollar support, but if it doesn't, it will come back down. But this does look like some new consolidation here that may lead to another rip up, so we'll have to keep a close eye on Maddox over the next couple of days. Litecoin, a lot of people have been ignoring, not paying any attention to, and Litecoin has been pushing for that 400 area. Like I said right here, this trend line, as long as this trend line holds up, this green upward trend line, then Litecoin will continue to rip. So at this point, I think we may see it try to test 400 in the next couple of days. Ether, which has been explosive, looks still explosive. It is getting held up at that 4,000 area, but trying to consolidate right around that 3850. And on the four hour here, it does look like we have a flag forming on Ethereum. So the break of this flag, we probably will see Ethereum go on another nice move here soon. And this may be happening within the next day or two. So you want to keep Ethereum on watch for sure. If it breaks to the downside, it does still have this short-term uptrend to try to hold it up that it could come back down to and then bounce for the 4,000 break. StormX came down really close to that trend line. I'm eyeing it close for the next couple of days for a possible entry down here if it confirms this trend line holding and I expect to get a bounce at least up to that 5.5 cent area. So it could be a small swing trade or it could start to make another big run again. Very cheap crypto, but if you do some research in the StormX, the tokenomics show that they're incentivizing people to buy it and they are coming out with a StormX crypto back credit card or debit card from my understanding. You already can get crypto back on your purchases if you hold StormX in certain wallets, but they're going to make it even easier for their project and community to get that crypto back. So they're incentivizing people to hold it and that's why I have a bullish look on StormX. I am currently swinging MIR. It's in this big triangle here. I've got it at 10.04. As you can see right there, I have a little stop loss. I've got 49 of them. So I threw about 500 in this to see if it can get another one of these big bounces. Looking at it on the four hour, I think it may break out of this triangle soon. It just tested the uptrend line twice here recently, so we may have a breakout on this very, very soon. Now, the last crypto I want to cover today is TRB. And TRB is a new one that came out on Coinbase. It's not a new project per se, but it's a new coin on Coinbase, so now I am aware of it. I noticed that it only has one and a half million circulating supply. That is not a lot of supply of this token. I also noticed that it is a Ether token that has special functions within the Ethereum environment. So I think this has a ton of potential to be one of those next big runners like the Ethereum, Bitcoin, Litecoin, the big projects like that. It is currently on an uptrend and has been on an uptrend. It tried to break up over 150 twice and has got held up every time. We can adjust this downtrend here. If this gets a lot of demand like it did here on this day, a lot of volume, it can rip pretty big. This day it went from 105 all the way up to 150. I traded that spike on Coinbase Pro. Now that it's fell off, I bought it down here in that 104 area off of the trend line. So you'll see some orders from the other day where I actually made the profits on this and then you'll see my new entry when I got back in here. I am down a little bit, but I'm looking for it to curl up and break this triangle here in the next couple of days, maybe within the next day. As you can see here where I originally got it at 106, and then I sold at all these areas. I didn't get it all the way up to 150, but I did make some decent profits on it. I got back in here, 
at 120 sold in that 125 area and then I've gotten back since at the 135 area so I am down currently but I've made profits playing this triangle that was forming on TRB but this one has very big breakout potential so you do want to keep this on your radar especially now that it's on coinbase that's a whole lot more people who can access it so when they start to discover it i would expect buying to really start coming in and see some type of massive move off of this soon now it may not be as big and as fast as i'm thinking but because of that circulating supply is so low it is a very good possibility that it could be as fast and as big as i'm thinking so definitely keep it on your watch list and that's it for today. So if you have any more coins that you want me to check out on a daily basis, let me know. And be sure yet, if you haven't joined the Framework Fortune Crypto Daily community, to hit that subscribe button as I also do live stream crypto trading throughout the week. So appreciate everybody joining me as always. Stay safe out there. Until next time.